So what did Jesus teach us about faith? We summarized this in simple statements. All things are possible through faith. Jesus spoke these things, and I'll go, them, go to them very quickly. In Matthew 17, 20, Jesus said, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can tell the mountain to move, and it will move. And what did he say? Nothing will be impossible to you. We will receive according to our faith. This is law, meaning nobody can hold back or deny your faith. For instance, to the Roman centurion, Matthew 8, 13, Jesus said, Go your way, as you have believed, it will be done for you. Our will and desire is involved in the exercise of faith. You see, many of us uh, have been taught or uh, because of the environment in which we've grown up, we've been accustomed to praying like this, God, if it is your will, give it to me. But that is not the way Jesus taught us to exercise faith. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire. So your desire, will is involved in this whole thing of exercising faith in God. God's will is always consistent with God's nature. If you know the nature of God, you know the will of God. God's will is always consistent with his word. It is revealed in his word. If you know the word, that's his will. Because he's spoken it. God's will is revealed or expressed through his promises. The reason he promised it is because he willed for you to have it. Otherwise, he would not have promised it. Faith is key to seeing the glory of God manifested. If you will believe, you will see the glory of when things go from bad to worse, only believe. Take the case of Jairus. Jesus is walking with Jairus's home. Jairus said, my daughter is really sick. Please come and heal her. So Jesus is going. And on the way, he gets the news. Things have gone bad. They will become worse. Your daughter is dead. What did Jesus respond? Jairus, why didn't you come to me yesterday? No. He tells Jairus immediately, Fear not, only believe. Faith is released through words spoken out of a believing heart. In Matthew 17, 20, he said, if you have faith, there's a grain of mustard seed, what will you do? You will say, you will speak to the mountain. Faith is exercised in prayer by believing you have received when you pray. When you pray. Believe that you have received and you will have it. Faith must be acted upon. For Peter, Peter said, Lord, if it's you who's coming on the water, uh, tell me to come to you. You said, come. Now, Peter may have been about to step out on the, on the water and Andrew. So Peter, remember, normal men don't walk on water. <laughs> John on the other side. No, no, Thomas, Thomas. <laughs> you know, Peter, are you sure you heard the Lord? Is that the Lord who told you to come? John, Peter, the waves are much higher than you, Peter. So I don't know what his friends in the boat could have been talking to him, but Peter had to step out of the boat to walk on the water. But the promise or the word was already given, come. And when he did, he actually walked on the water to Jesus. Number nine, Jesus taught us that there are different levels of faith. You find him in the gospels. At some point he says, how is it that you have no faith? And other times he tells his disciples, oh you of little faith. And then to some people he says, you have great faith. So he identified different levels of faith. And I'm bringing this out just to encourage us saying that, look, we can grow in our faith. Worry, fear, and doubt negate faith. So remember, when worry, fear, and doubt come knocking at the door, send faith to answer. Amen? Worry is on the door, faith answers. Fear is at the door, faith answers. Doubt is at the door, faith answers.